last time on the Pokemon Garbage Green Hardcore Nuzlocke. But let's see, our first encounter just happens to be... Smeargle, okay. It's Steel. I'm pretty sure it's Steel, let's go. And I'm freed, okay, I'm, I'm swapping out. I am swapping out, I'm not playing this game. Shuckle, here's your chance. Just showing you are the weakest Pokemon ever. Hold up, hold up. I don't think I'm allowed to use that. What is up, everybody? It's the Game Dex here. We are back with another episode of our Pokemon Garbage Green Nuzlocke Challenge that we've been doing. Well, we've only done one episode, and today is going to be something special. It's a new twist added into this Nuzlocke. You guys thought just trash Pokemon was the only thing? We have a gauntlet coming up, and we're going to have to prepare for the gauntlet, which means try to find any healing items we can get, and just get our team ready, because it is, it's going to be something. Mount Moon, no chance at healing, I just have to go through it and just hope for the best. We're going to show you exactly how it looks. I think I might be able to get a total of eight Pokemon before then, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's get into it. Let's get onto the next route, catch a new Pokemon, and see how we can build our team to work well in Mount Moon. And I will be there with you guys. Okay, one Orenberry. Okay, and our encounter on this route, which is one of the few encounters we can get before going into the gauntlet, just will happen to be... Please be something de Yo, coughing! Let's go! I hope I can evolve my boy, because if I can, I don't know why this is a trash Pokemon. This is an amazing Pokemon with amazing defense. You guys just don't know how to use him. It's my boy, Coughing, who hopefully will evolve into a Weezing. Uh, Slugma also gained Rock Throw, which is pretty cool. I will take it. The issue with Coughing is he's very bulky. Physically bulky, at least. But anything on the special side, he does not take as well. This might kill him. No. See? Proof! He is so physically tanky. You guys don't know what you're talking about. Sure. Don't put him against a psychic type. That would be absolutely mind-boggling. But you put him in the right conditions against the right mons, like fighting type. You burn him, too, with Will-O-Wisp. Coughing is amazing. People just have to see his power. And I'm so happy that I added him to my team. I'm going to be using him. Don't worry. Maybe he doesn't have the moves now to be useful, but he can also learn so many TMs. Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb. He's just all around amazing, and I will take him. Let's go! Let's go! Do you like Slugma? Sure, he's my starter. Slugma Berries. Yo, that's actually kind of clutch. Oh, a citrus berry is nice. I'm, I will gladly take a citrus berry. Let's go. Just helping us stockpile before Mount Moon Gauntlet. Let's go. I will take it. Let's. I'm ready. I'm, I'm not ready for Mount Moon. But I'm preparing. We'll, we're going to get in there. Before that, I would actually like to catch... One more Pokemon, because I can show you guys exactly how it works. You walk in here, you go into the cave. We might not get an encounter beforehand. We're, we're fine. And listen, there's a lady gone. Beware, Nosepass can take your Pokeballs using... What? As soon... Thanks, Pokemon, for interrupting me. There's no way you evolve. There, There is actually no way that you evolve Slack off. Because Vigoroth is strong. Slacking is strong. You have to stay a Slack off. Right? There, there's no way. I mean... There's no way he evolves, but maybe early game we can make it work. Truant's kind of a hindrance of an ability, but... I don't know. I I don't know. You get that one shot, and you're done, and it could be good. But here, 
is the little dip. Once I enter here, there is no escaping this cave, so we have to be smart about it and take our time. I'm not ready just yet. I'm going to need a little bit more time to prepare. Check to see if I can pick any more items up like orange berries. But hey, this gauntlet is going down today with our team. And maybe I'll add slack off. Who do I remove though? Tyrogue? Possibly. Tyrogue only has tackle. But if we could get Tyrogue poisoned. Huh. The mind games. I, I know HP is an issue, but if we can get some tackles, strong tackles with guts, we're, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be back with you guys in a second when I'm all prepared and ready. Oh, this is actually wild. This is huge. I know it doesn't evolve into x -Bloud, but Loudred this early... Oh, this is going to be absolutely wild. Okay, well, we really only have one option, and that's to get into it. I did do a little bit of a change-up of our team. I added Tyrogue, and I did Pro Gamer moves. We poisoned it, which I hope will be for the best. I know it is a little scary taking damage each turn, but 50 base attack, basically, every single turn. I know it's just tackle, but this is the early game. We could make it work. We also have our boy Slack off, which Truant's gonna hurt, but it's a strong Pokemon in Scratch, and although it is special, we could make Faint Attack work. Maybe not as much, and it has healing. So we can use a Pokemon, maybe one of the wild Pokemon that don't do as much or do anything, and we can Slack off, heal. We also got our boy Shuckle still wrapping and constricting it up. I don't know how much i might be able to use encore with him to trick some of the harder pokemon to use certain moves at encore it to keep it going our slugma is gonna be amazing in this yawn maybe not so much because we will take damage but the rest that's that's some coverage and then we have loudred who is going to destroy there's no way loud loudred's gonna get us through and then coughing too like how how are we not proud of this team? Um, I'm going to lead Coughing against the little Clefairy lady. And let's get into it, starting with battle number one. Um, Clefairy is kind of scary, so here's a couple issues with this Clefairy. First off, it could put me to sleep. Uh, let's see how much damage Sludge does. Coughing, power, right there. One sludge took out Clefairy just like that. I'm proud. That's my son right there. I'm proud of him. I honestly feared this trainer. There's going to be a couple easy ones that I don't fear as much, like this bug catcher. So, if any battle it becomes tough, maybe we'll pop back in or see how our team is doing. But I don't... You guys don't need to see this bug catcher. Magnemite and Voltorb. This guy might be a threat, but... We're still leading Slugma. We'll be fine, right? I'm. It's a level 11. We should be fine. One Ember. Yeah, we're fine. This Mount Moon, Mount Schmoon. Maybe we use too many rare candies, and maybe we'll be smart once we fail later in the game. But easy mode. Oh no! I should have. I should have swapped. Oh no. Okay, he has a Zubat. That's fine. Slugma is an absolute champ. He's been the true MVP. Forget Loudred. I haven't even used him yet. Slugma. Embering. Everything. It's a crit. Crit did not matter. Rocket Grunt, you stand no chance. Slugma is max level limit, which is fine. It's bound to happen. It's, it's okay. It's okay. No worries. I think I found the toughest trainer of this cave. Now, I do have a strategy that might work. Um, we picked up TM Thief lower down in the cave. And the issue with Thief is they took away your ability to steal items. But I think 
with coughing, we could make it work. And um, we're going to have to get rid of something. And I have a feeling, I think it's going to be smog. It's just smog's accuracy is so bad. Now you're like, okay. Why thief? There's no ability to steal items. And what does this hiker have to do with thief? Um, dark is special in this game. And obviously, a hiker has Pokemons that, can t that can't take special attacks very well. The other thing I might do is I think I'm going to give Coughing and Orenberry 2 during this fight. For the sheer fact that I really don't have anyone but Coughing as an answer to this. Whoa, you shocked me. Okay. Marcos and his Geodudes. They're level 10. So they might not be as big of a threat. It's special. Coughing has decent special. Okay. I wish... It either, like, I wish there was more value on that second thief. But okay. I mean, that's not end of the world feeling right there. And actually, I will, I am fine with that. Because I'm going to switch to tackle and miss. I'm going to eat a tackle. That's, that's my boy. That's my boy coughing right there. Taking the tanky physical hits just like that. And then Onyx should be the same thing. If it wasn't for Thief, I don't think we... Maybe Slugma? I don't think we have a good option outside of that. And just like that, Onyx should go down to another Thief. It does bring us down to 5 PP, but I don't think there's another Hiker in this cave. So I think we're fine on that aspect. Um, I tried Tyrogue. <laughs> Even with the guts. It's, it's, it's so bad. <sighs> I should have... I uh, Maybe not. It's not like Smeargle can do... I guess Smeargle could have been decent here, but otherwise... <sighs> Tyrogue. Tyrogue. Why? And it was against Rattata too, which have bad defense. Please be Rattata. I really haven't used Loudred, which is a surprise. Loudred felt like it was going to be that Pokemon that just ran the course here. Which it still could. I still have plenty of trainers. And yes, it is Rattata. But which Rattata combo is it? Is it Rattata Sandshrew or Rattata Zubat? Sandshrew. Okay, I don't... I don't think this is the end of the world. It's either going to Defense Curl... Or sand attack, and as long as we hit, we're good. Okay, no reason to fear. Next up is, I think, the Sandshrew, Rattata, and Zubat guy. But I think, I think we're, we've got it until the Scientist, which actually could be a huge threat. And basically the boss fight for here, which our team... Like, I, obviously we have some weaker Pokemon, like weakened Pokemon... But our team has done well. Um, it, it's been holding up. I still have both berries in my berry pouch. Orin and Citrus. I haven't used a single one. Um, I could... I, I don't know. I probably overleveled. I think if I were to do this again, I'm not going to use rare candy. Like, if I fail and I go through here, I won't use all my rare candies up front like this. But I think... We've got it good. Um, let's go. Let's get into this. I want to lead our boy Slugma. Hey, stop! I found these fossils and they're both mine. Okay, my dude. I, I don't care about your fossils, McGill. I kind of would just like to get out of here alive. It's a crit. 
Crit probably mattered, but hey, we're doing great. Yeah, definitely, definitely tone it back on the levels because with getting to the level cap at the beginning of the cave, you're just busted. There, There's nothing that can stop me. I mean, my team right now is too good. Voltorb. So I think if we were already use rare candies in the future, it is solely at the gym leader. Not working our way up to, but at the gym leader we use them. <laughs> because look at this. This is supposed to be the most difficult person in the game. Well, in the cave. And we knocked it out of the park. Um, who do I take? I'm going to make a lot of people mad. Taking the dome fossil. Sorry, guys. And before we wrap up the episode, I'm going to get one final encounter. And our encounter on this route is Clam Pearl. Why did I stay in? Am I dumb? Iron Defense. He might not have a water move this early. Possibly. You know, Iron Defense could be decent. Let's go Loudred. <sighs> I absolutely cannot stand Huntail and Gorbis. You do have a water move. At all. Although, I don't think there's a way they're in the game. So, I don't think they're going to be in the game because of Shell Smash. And Clam Pearl, stay in the ball. You'll probably live in Astonish, if I'm being honest. With Iron Defense, yeah, you're good. Of course you woke up. But you flinched. And can you just stay in the ball? Don't make me have to swap out Slack Off to make you go to sleep. Clam Pearl. Okay, fine. I'll stay in. I mean, okay. As much as I hate Clam Pearl and its evolutions, having a water type is good. I, It now checks rock types. Thank you, Clam Pearl. Clamp all added to the team. This is where I am going to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back again going against Misty and possibly Nugget Bridge, which is another gauntlet. So there's that. But that'll be next time. Until then, everyone. Peace.